Hello! Welcome to my video. For those of you who don't know me, I am Penelope Pop, also known as Winnie Wong. That's actually my real name. A lot of my videos are centered around curating your lifestyle and living with the things that you need. And that is really what we're all about. One thing that I do need is a lot of cats, apparently. So I currently have five cats and I never thought I would be that type of person, but they just make me feel really good and they're a good support system and what's keeping me sane at this point, so yeah. I just love cats. So I just thought it'd be cool if I just introduced all my cats and then also talked about Wong Cats World, which is the new channel and platform for all my different cats. And you will get to meet them individually here on my video, so keep on watching. Before we get started with the video, I want to talk about Skillshare. It's an online platform that offers thousands of videos made by creative and business professionals. What makes Skillshare so unique is that it curates the content that it puts out and it also divides it into sections so that you can pace yourself appropriately and it caters to different types of learners. So if you like to speed things up, if you like to slow things down, it really offers all these features that can cater to your type of learning. I find it extremely helpful when Skillshare splits up your videos into sections and it also explains what exactly you're going to learn. There are also features like transcripts that allow you to read what the person is saying in case you didn't really hear it correctly. And they offer project resources so that you can learn along with the video. I've watched so many videos at this point and I can say that I've been able to apply to every single skill. It's never too late to continue brushing up on your skills. Click on the links in my description box and get learning. So if you're wondering about my cat's diet, they're all eating right now. You can listen to the ASMR. Listen to the cats. Listen to the sound. Delicious. So basically, uh, I've had a series of events where uh, my cat Bongo, he went through FIP, which 95% of cats don't survive. And we managed to find a cure for him. We, we still need to wait for like 25 more days to see if he is completely cured of it. He had this thing called FIP, which is the coronavirus for cats. And actually a scientist already found like a cure for it and an um, antidote that would cure many cats, but it's not accessible because it conflicts with the coronavirus vaccine. We have changed their diet and their poops are all regular now. It should be solid. So that's what makes the cat healthy. But I'm no vet, so um, I know that my cats don't have any troubles now. They used to get sick a lot, and now it's way better with the diet that I'm give, diet I'm giving them. So this device right here is the pet kit. It's connected to an app and you can input. I'm a very tech person, so I really like to find out these new devices. There's also a Xiaomi version I have for my dog. Um, but basically, you can dispense dry food in here. You can input your cat's birthday, weight, all of that and the type of food you're giving them and it will dispense the correct amount of proportions for it. So I have that and um, it releases three times a day depending on the settings you want and when they hear it they usually just run. So that's another thing that I have which is great and then we give them the regular diet which is the squash, egg, and chicken or just chicken or and squash. And it actually saves a lot of money because I have five cats and usually if you wanna buy food for five cats, it's a lot. Owning a cat is actually very low maintenance because they know how to go to the bathroom. And speaking of bathrooms, I've had this for about a year and a half already. This is my litter robot. I actually brought this all the way from the States. I saw it on YouTube and then I love the idea that it um, senses when a cat goes poo poo pee pee whatever and then it will automatically cycle and bring back fresh litter. It's not as bad as having to scoop all the time. Like it scoops for you and you can put pull out the litter here and they know how to go up. That's the great thing about cats is that they know when to go to the bathroom, which one to go to. Only cat that doesn't use this and has a really, really weird preference is Ponyo. Ponyo actually likes to go on the bidet. Pee and poo, um, I guess that's convenient for peeing. For pooing, I have to actually scoop it out, but that's just her preference and um, I've tried to get her to go on litter for a really long time, but I don't think she likes it. And I also use pine, whatever. She just likes the bidet. So I've just kind of gotten used to it. I just said, okay, fine. The second cat I got was Bongo. And 
Yes. Very, very cute. Bongo. I love Bongo. He is... Every single cat has a different personality. Bongo is um, very scared of a lot of things, very cautious. He'll keep his distance, but he cares about you. He'll watch you. And Bongo actually gets picked on by Appa a lot, but he doesn't fight back. He's very kind and gentle and sweet. And yeah, the great thing about cats is every single cat has a personality. Everyone is different. Everyone has their own little like niches. Okay, let's move on to the second cat. My second cat was Minka. She actually is. She actually passed away and she was only with us for like le for a year. She got pregnant with Bongo's baby, but Minka was way too small to be pregnant and um, she passed away due to complications. It was really upsetting for me. After Minka was Appa. So Appa is actually right here. All cats just linger around. So this, is Appa. He is the biggest cat, the meanest one, and always likes to pick fights, but that's because he's bored. So now I've gotten um, to a habit of letting him go and explore beyond my room, and now he explores the entire house. So he loves that, but he's, look at him, he's so moody. And he scratches, he'll bite, he's the culprit of all my things that are broken. He just has a very funny personality. He's very lazy and there, see, he's angry. He's gonna try to find a bite me. There you go. Okay, so that's Appa. All right, so over here we actually have Milo. This is what she spends most of her time doing. I am not joking. She loves looking out and stalking people. I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but she's always out here looking out the window. If it's completely closed, she'll find a way to open it and look through the window. And she's just, I don't know what she's doing. She's just watching. She's a curious cat. Oh, there she is. So this is Milo. Milo's actually the daughter of Appa. And um, she's just, she recently got spaded. And you should get your cat spaded just because it's very miserable for them. She. Um, walks very funny. So if you see some clips in Wong Cat's word, you'll see that she really just walks in a funny way. And she's gonna go eventually go back and do her thing. And usually sometimes when I'm walking up the stairs and I see her, I just wave at her because it's it's funny that way. Uh, Milo also is likes to be on her own. You'll always catch her at the top of like, anything, doing her own thing. She's a princess. She doesn't want to be bothered. She doesn't want anyone to talk to her. She just does her own thing, does her own sightseeing. And yeah, that's that's Milo for you. She hates everybody that she meets. Literally, when I had Ponyo come in and Tonka, she she feels very offended by their sight. And she, she's a cat that won't fight it, but she'll just walk away. She'll like make this noise like, and then she'll go away. Next cat we have here is actually Tonka. Tonka looks like an old man, but he's one of the younger cats. Tonka is the only one that's super talkative. Anytime you say Tonka, he'll go Tonka. He's not doing that now, but usually when I get him, when I picked him up a while ago, he was like, Mrr. and anytime he wants food, he goes, Mrr. so Tonka is so nice. He loves, he loves everything. He loves everyone. He loves everything. He likes being pet. He's like a dog, but not as enthusiastic because he still looks really tired most of the time. Very talkative. So that's Tonka. <laughs> and Ponyo is the very last cat. Ponyo. Ponyo is the youngest cat and the newest cat in the Wong Cats cat clan. Wong Cats, Ponyo is inspired by the Ponyo, the movie Ponyo. And she, it's funny because she has a very, very interesting pattern and it spells out Hof, H-O-F. I'll actually put it a picture and then my mom literally sent me a Viber message and it says Hof. This is my mom's favorite cat. Ponyo, say hi. She's actually in heat right now, so I'm gonna get her spade so she doesn't lose her hair. Poor girl, look. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So cute. So yeah, those are my cats. That ends my, I mean, I would love to have them all at the same time, but it's just hard to get them all in one place. Oh, Tonka also really enjoys looking out the window. He copied 
Milo. After Milo did it for a while, he started doing it as well. I have a robo vacuum that sweeps my floor twice a day. It's timed and it sweeps out everything and you can catch a lot, a lot of hair. So if you have cats, you need to maintain it because it's just hard. And in terms of clothes, I've just given up. Like, I don't care. People are like, you have so much cat hair. I'm like, unless I'm going out somewhere, which I'm not usually at, at this point, I, I don't care. I just YOLO. Do you people use that term anymore? So did you enjoy it? Okay, well, that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my cats or anything that I do, um, let me know. And subscribe to Wong Cats World and Penelope Pop Art. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.